click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today's topic is a new one. We are going to find out a Laplace transform periodic signals and this was the first numerical but, but, but before moving to problem number one there is one thing that you should know before solving or while solving a numerical related to periodic signals. Now what do I mean by periodic signal? Periodic signal means what? A function repeats itself after a particular time period interval or time period which means if you apply limits on that function then or you can say if we apply limits on the first period only a first period only on the first period then a Laplace transform of first period signal repeats after a particular time period interval or a same interval. What I want to say is the function value repeats itself after a given time interval. Means what? A Laplace transform of first period is also similar to the Laplace transform of next time period. So it is not necessary to find out a Laplace transform whole stream or the whole periodic signal which is started from minus infinity to infinity or maybe it will be started from zero to infinity. Only find out a Laplace transform of first period so that we will get the idea what is the result and according to the formula you can say that why the first part Laplace transform is important and this formula is actually we have studied in the properties which is a Laplace transform periodic signal. So first of all we will solve a problem number one. Now the problem number one the question is determine Laplace transform of wave or you can say a waveform or you can say a plot which is shown in figure. Now here we can say that it is nothing but a simple square wave and here the period of square wave is t. Now you can say that this graph from which varies from 0 to t or just concentrated on plot which is in between 0 to t. The same plot repeats from t to 2t and this will be continuous till infinity. So that's why I'm saying it is not necessary to find out a Laplace transform given graph. Only find out a Laplace transform first period which is started from 0 to t because the same Laplace transform value will repeat itself after a time period. So first of all we'll study a definition or the statement of periodic signals. We'll write the statement of periodic signal and then we'll move on to we'll find out the function value which is exist in between 0 to t. Now basically first of all the statement of a Laplace transform periodic signal x of s means what a Laplace transform of whole function or whole periodic signal and it is nothing but only find out a Laplace transform of first period that is 0 to t and here the function or signal present in between 0 to t is represented by x1 of t only find out the Laplace transform of first period function or the function which is present in first period and it is represented by x1 of s. So for that first of all we have to find out equation for x1 of t. So x1 of t. Sir look at here. Here the x1 of t is having two different amplitudes because look at here this function is a periodic. Periodic means what? It completes its one cycle after a t. So what will be the value perfectly when it completes the first half cycle as the complete cycle value is t so half cycle value is t by 2 so this value is t by 2 then this will be a 3 t by 2 now so move on to x of t we have to find out x1 of t first 
x1 of t means what the function value which is exist in between first period or you can say in between 0 to t so in between 0 to t the x1 of t changes its value twice so in first case it is having amplitude a this x1 of t this part is the x1 of t now in this part the x1 of t is having amplitude a when the time period is in between 0 to t by 2 and it is having amplitude minus a in between t by 2 to t so i'm going to write here amplitude is minus a when the time period is moving from t by 2 to t but basically in this formula this t value this time period value is important look at here the time period value is represented by t so no need to replace this t if the number is mentioned like 0 1 2 then this t value will be a 2 but right now all the period value is represented by in terms of t so no need to replace we'll place the same value as a t now according to formula first of all we have to find out the laplace transform of x1 of t only in between 0 to t so a laplace transform of x1 of t is represented in laplace transform by x1 of s and the definition is 0 to t x1 of t e to the power minus s t dt and we know that in between 0 to t x1 of t produces or changes its value in between 0 to t by 2 it's having amplitude way a and from t by 2 to t it's having amplitude minus a so according to that this integration limit will be also change so x1 of s is from 0 to t by 2 x1 of t is having amplitude a into e to the power minus s t dt and from t by 2 to t the amplitude of x1 of t is minus a into e to the power minus s t dt now look at here here the a and minus a is the constant part so we can take it outside from this integration so we have a into bracket or we can say integration will it start from 0 to t by 2 e to the power minus s t dt and after taking minus a outside so this sign will be changed which will be minus now and integration limit is t by 2 to t e to the power minus s t dt now apply L integration on e to the power minus s t now what you will get the x1 of s is after applying integration what you will get a is the constant part which was i have taken outside now we have e to the power minus st whole divided by the actually the variable was t and the constant term is minus s so minus s will be placed in denominator and the time interval is from 0 to t by 2 then we have minus a and in bracket what we have e to the power minus st again and the integration of e to the power minus st is again e to the power minus st whole divided by minus s and the time limit is start from t by 2 to 3. Now look at here in both the parts the a is common so I'll take a outside and I'll substitute the values of t upper limit will apply first or comes first and then we'll place minus sign and then I will substitute lower limit. So one more thing here also denominator part in the denominator we have minus s so i can take minus s common so what you will get minus a by s now substitute upper limit and then lower limit so upper limit is e to the power s into this t is replaced by t by 2 so we'll write minus s t by 2 minus we'll substitute 0 so this t is replaced by 0 so whole power becomes 0 so we have e to the power 0 minus this is the minus sign now we'll substitute the upper limit first so we have e to the power minus s this t is replaced by capital t minus e to the power this t is replaced by t by 2 so we have e to the power minus s t by so minus a by s now i will open this bracket so that this term will be minus and this term will get plus sign so what you will get e to the power minus s t by 2 e to the power 0 is always 1 minus this term will be having minus sign e to the power minus st 
minus minus become plus so this will be e to the power minus s t by 2 now look at here e to the power minus s t e to the power uh, minus s t so this will be a twice of e to the power minus s t by 2 minus 1 and minus this term e to the power minus s t now if you want then you can take this minus sign inside this bracket or else keep it outside now i'm multiplying this minus sign inside this bracket now i'm multiplying this minus sign inside this bracket so what you will get this term will get a minus sign but remaining two will have a plus sign so in that i'll write first minus first one then why we have written one there is not any reason there is no more any reason so next minus sign is multiplied with minus 2 so we have minus 2 e to the power minus st by 2 minus sign is multiplied with this term so this will be positive and this is our x1 of s now according to the formula of x of s what is important x1 of s whole divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s into t where the time period value is t so no need to replace it only we have to substitute x1 of s value so this is nothing but a by s in bracket we have 1 minus twice of e to the power minus s t by 2 plus e to the power minus s t whole divided by 1 minus e to the power minus s power t now we can take this s in numerator so therefore my x of s is now a inside this bracket we have 1 minus twice of e to the power minus st by 2 plus e to the power minus st whole divided by s into 1 minus e to the power minus s capital t and this is the result of a square wave a continuous periodic square wave so similar things we are going to solve in next videos also so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe for ikeda for further more videos thank you so much